Welcome to my summary of C.S. Lewis's novel, The Screwtape Letters. In this fictional novel, we read 31 letters that an experienced devil, Uncle Screwtape, writes to his inexperienced nephew, Wormwood, regarding how to corrupt a specific human soul. By giving us a perspective of morality from the from the point of view of evil, we're gaining a, a greater self-awareness of how the demonic might be influencing us in our own lives. And then when we become aware of the different tactics of the enemy, we can have a greater ability to respond uh, against the tactics of the devil and therefore become better Christians. The first theme that I encourage you to pay attention to as you read the screw tape letters is the combination of faith and reason. For Lewis, thinking critically and analytically about the Christian faith will actually help you to understand it and embrace it more fully. Each of the 31 letters in the screw tape letters is somewhat of a logical proof for explaining Christian doctrine. And each one is supposed to help us make a greater act of faith in the truths presented in the Christian faith. The second theme that I encourage you to pay attention to is the combination of free will and love. Throughout the 31 letters, C.S. Lewis gives a classic exposition of how humans are constantly vacillating between good and evil. And due to free will, C.S. Lewis says that our, our free will as humans is our greatest weakness and our greatest strength. It's our greatest weakness because we can so easily choose what is evil, but it's also our greatest strength because when we choose God above all other things, we are given a great reward by our Heavenly Father for doing so. Throughout the 31 letters, it becomes very clear that God only allows evil because he can bring about a greater good. And so God respects our free will because he wants us to choose him with a free heart so that we can be lovers of God. The enemy takes this risk because he has a curious fantasy of making all these disgusting little human vermin into what he calls his free lovers and servants. Sons is the word he uses with his inveterate love of degrading the whole spiritual world by unnatural liaisons with the two-legged animals. Desiring their freedom, he is therefore refuses to carry them by their mere affections and habits to any of the goals which he sets before them. He leads them to do it on their own, and there lies our opportunity. But also remember, there lies our danger. If once they get through this initial dryness successfully, they become much less dependent on emotion, and therefore much harder to tempt. Now I'll share with you three of my favorite quotes from the screw tape letters, the first one being in the preface in which Lewis gives us a reason for writing his book. He says, there are two equal and opposite errors into which our race can fall about the devils. One is to disbelieve in their existence. The other is to believe and to feel an excessive and unhealthy interest in them. By writing about devils in a light and comic tone, Lewis presents them as petty, obnoxious, and at times clumsy, and in doing so shows us the reality of the demonic influence, but presents them in a second-rate way in which we'll not be afraid or over-concerned about their involvement in our lives. My second favorite quote is when Uncle Screwtape says, All extremes, except extreme devotion to the enemy, are to be encouraged. In this quote, we see that the demonic want us to get into extremes in anything in life, like sports or politics, anything but God. And my third favorite quote is when Uncle Screwtape gives this brilliant picture of the different worlds that the devil and God want for us humans. This is what he says. He really does want to fill the universe with a lot of loathsome little replicas of himself, creatures whose life on its miniature scale will be qualitatively like his own, not because he has absorbed them, but because their wills freely conform to his. We want cattle who can finally become food. He wants servants who can finally become sons. We want to suck in. He wants to give out. We are empty and would be filled. He is full and flows over. Our war aim is a world in which our father below has drawn all other beings into himself. The enemy wants a world full of beings united to him, but still distinct. I really encourage you to reflect upon these quotes and read the screw tape letters for yourselves so you can gain a greater self-awareness of how the demonic may be influencing you so you can resist the evil one and draw closer to God. God bless.